it should go down as one of the top five teams of all time. You've, you've said it repeatedly. Do you still believe that? I mean, statistically, when you look at it, Skip, Dumb. I mean, when you look, I mean, they would dominate all year long. 64 wins. They go 16-3 and three in the playoffs, mm -hmm. which is one of the great runs yep. in NBA history. Now, when you look at the regular season, the third all-time important differential, and what I mean by that is how much they beat you by the average. They, the average win went by a margin of 11 points. Mm. <clears throat> That's tough. And they were on pace to be in the top 10 until mm -hmm. this last series. You know, at one point, they were averaging 10-point wins. Mm. But it went down to eight because of that blowout, that aberration game that, that Dallas has. So, yep. you know, I think... I'm not ready to put them as a top five team yet because I still think it's early in their careers to where we haven't defined, you know, where certain players are going to be historically. And I think in order to put a team in the top five and one of the greatest teams to ever play, you got to look at where they are at the end of the day. Now, some teams, like, say, the Chicago Bulls, when they won 73 games and you say, all right, they got Scotty, Jordan, and Rodman – we already knew them guys was going to be Hall of Famers. And, you know, maybe Cool Coach, which eventually became a Hall of Famer. And so right now, I got to see what happens in the next few years and how the accolades build up with, within these players. Because when I look up and I say, hey, they got four Hall of Famers on that team. That's an all-time team right there. You know, which we could say about the, the Magic Johnson Lakers. You know, we didn't say that after their first win championship. We didn't say that after the Birds' first championship. But as they accumulated championships and certain players went on to be all-time players, we were like, all right, that's an all-time team. And we can say that about the Golden State Warriors. So I just need some years and maybe another championship. Or, you know, if we say Drew Holiday, he becomes a Hall of Famer. If Al Orford becomes a Hall of Famer and we look back, we're going to be like, well, hey, they have four Hall of Famers. And Porzingis... This is an all-time team. This may be a top five team. Look, they went 16 and three, 64 wins. This team you can put up there in the upper epsilon with great teams, and I'll play, I'll match them up against anybody. So there's many things that are going to be contributing factors to saying they're a top five all-time team. So know? in other so, words, no, you're no, saying not I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. That's what I'm saying. You're saying no now. No now, but that can change. Say they win another one, or you know, certain players become all-time players, you, you're going to have to look back and say, all right, that was a top five But you team. do realize that's not what you said. That's why Skip posed a question. Well, they were... Because you yeah, said... Yeah, I said... I did say that because... They, if they win, you got to put them into the top five of all time. Well, that's what you said. Well, statistically... But you yeah. also say Statist you don't go off of analytics. St you go off statistically, eyeball. Statistically, when you look at the top teams ever... 16 to 3 in the postseason, da 64 that. wins. Damn the analytics, the numbers, the statistics. Well, you got to go. You got to, you got to no, count. You got to. Eyeball test. Right now, as it stands, are they a top five team? Well, based on when you look. On what they did this year, in this year alone, are they a top five team? Ever? But, well, since you've been at, we can't. I'll yeah, tell you I this. I will tell you this about this 60s, team. Man. I will tell you this about this team. This team can match up with any team in NBA history. Okay. So you're getting somewhere team. now. Yeah. So like, you're going if you put them up against Golden State, they can match up. Because you got Tatum, can guard KD. You got the backcourt that can guard that backcourt. You know, that'll be one of that'll be a great matchup. So if I look at it in that aspect, they, they, they probably are one of the top five greatest teams probably assembled. Without me going into all the numbers and all that, not a chance. And the only reason why I'm looking at it is from an eyeball standpoint. From an and, eyeball standpoint, if, if you well, if you, if you eyeball, from, all my eyeball standpoint, they oh, match oh, up with whoever. Hold on. Let me, let me get there. They not beating the Larry Bird Celtics. And, and tell Pick me, a team. And tell me why. Pick one of them teams. All right, so tell me why then. All right, let's do the matchups. Do the matchups. All right, so Larry Bird team, the starters was who? Dennis Johnson. DJ Larry Bird. Da Danny Ainge. Danny Ainge. All right, so, so let's just Maxwell. stop there. Okay. So right. Drew Holiday and White can match up right there. Okay, but you keep going to the front line. Yeah, All right, now you go. go Now you go to Larry Bird. We're going to put, you can probably put Jalen Brown on. You go McHale. You would. And then you're going to have to put Jason Tatum on McHale. Uh, or we switch him out and go Maxwell, whichever one. All right, but, but Maxwell on And then you got Robert Parrish. And then you got Robert Parrish to go match up with Porzingis. 
Okay, so you 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 think that you think that favors them? First of all, they bigger. I think they can. I mean, but look at the climate we're playing now. No, but that, the Celtics, they can't shoot. The Cel that Celtic team can't shoot in this era. But see, we we we. I mean, we, see, we at the Celtic team wanna, is more athletic. I don't want to do the Celtic team. The, this year, Celtic more athletic, can shoot better, can get on the perimeter. I mean, what you gonna do? Go 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 ground and pound on them? Go go to come down court and just put, toss it into Mikhail every time? I mean, yes. That worked for him pretty right, good. Right, well, right. That worked. That worked pretty damn yeah, good. That, for him. Work, that won't work today, Skip. That won't work today. We all know that. That wouldn't work today. I, I, I don't know that. that. And I don't know hey. if they grew up in this era that they their skill set wouldn't transfer based on everything that I can't I can't do it like that. I'm just looking at player for player. Then I go those teams. Then I look at y'all team. Come on, man. Y'all team alone. What, we, we what they going to do with y'all? We match up better with them than the 80s Burrs team. Know about that one, man. Mm -hmm. Don't know about that one. I think y'all would... We match we, up with both teams. Would, would, we match up with both teams. Y'all would probably... We match up with any error. Take care of them, right? Then we go to the Chicago's. Let's not even have that conversation. Because I can pick either one of them Chicago championship teams out of the six, and they get them. Then we can talk about the Lakers. I could pick any one of them Laker teams, whether it was Showtime, whether it was Shaq and Kobe, and to a degree, I can pick the Powell Kobe team because they beat y'all, y'all beat them. All right, so listen to this. What did this team show you that tells you they couldn't play with these teams? Because for one, they were a top tier defensive team. This is a top tier defensive team. This is a top tier. You know, Magic was 6'9 running the point. Where do the where do the, the Celtics this year rank in offense? Number two? One and two. No, I think they're one in one, offense. Yeah. One in offense? Yeah. Two where in did defense. they rank in defense? Mm -hmm. two. Number two. Yeah. Where did they rank in three-point shooting? Two. Number one or two. They took the most, two. made the most. Yeah. Though. But yeah. they took the most, mm -hmm. made the most. Yeah. So when you look at it, when I that's why I say statistically. They match up with whoever. Okay, but Paul, you were already on record as saying your 08 team could yes. beat this team. Yes. And so right there, we start with they're at a, a disadvantage because they disadvantage. couldn't even beat your 08 team. Be, I, I'm, I'm biased against my 08 team versus whoever, though. Yeah. And, then, oh, and then we get past Chicago. I understand you saying that. They wouldn't beat the Lakers. The, 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 Shaq, the Shaq Lakers, they couldn't beat. No. And, and then, and then the, no. the 09 the Lakers, Lakers team no. beat y'all. I don't want to hear nothing about nobody was hurt and all that. I don't want to hear that. Y'all still lost. We was injured at all. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear you lost. The L's are L, W's a W. Okay, and Porzingis would have no chance against Kareem. I don't care what you say. Nothing. You, just, uh, you don't have a chance. Nothing. It, it's not going to work. Oh, Kareem? Just I mean, any I mean, Kareem. Come on, come on. Well, well, no, 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 old I mean, Kareem, come on. Let's, let's come on. Showtime Kareem. Showtime Kareem average what, 18 points? Yeah, what, he what, was just, But he was, he was, hey, he was what so Porzingis, he did dominant, Whatever man. you ask him to do, he just yeah. did it. Yeah. yeah, I'm not saying Porzingis is on Kareem's level, but that Porzingis at this age versus Kareem at that age, he match up. Now, they tried that with some young he dudes before, up. though. It didn't work out. <laughs> Paul, but then, then let's move on for the Lakers. Let's go to the KD Golden State Warriors. They really match up with that team. That's probably the only team in NBA history that I could say outside of the Jordan Bulls, they really match up with the KD. Uh, I understand matching up. I understand what you're saying. I don't know but who they wins can't that do series. That with I don't know like when, that. I don't know who wins that series. I, that's a seven-game series to me. Mm. It was cheating. That's a you they, can put they got Drew, KD, Drew Holiday. They basically listen, cheated. I'm not saying Drew Holiday can stop Curry, but that's a great matchup. It is, it, it, it's, and it, I'm it's not a saying matchup. I'm not saying that Derek White can stop Clay, but that's a great matchup. That's fine. And then fine. you go to KD. I got a guy that's, named Brown and Tatum. That's fine. That's a good matchup. That's all good. And so now Brown or Tatum on Draymond. That's and all then good. And then Porzingis on. I don't know who they center was. Really? Yeah. But you Louis, know they, yeah. but they match up with that team. But Paul, you man, come on, man. And they you know shot, dude. they shot the three just like Golden State did. No, but Golden State won. They shot theirs. They made them more. They made How? more, and they probably shot less. And they true. made more. They that did shoot true. less because they, they had shot less. less and they made shot more. less because they had less people who could shoot them than Boston. What you know you what mean? I'm saying? Well, you had Clay shot them, and Curry shot them, and and KD 
shot him when and he three, needed to knock him so down. So now you got five guys on the Celtics, six guys who shoot him. They not shooting. It ain't nothing. nothing.